My name is Dennis. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. My, uh, my people came from uh, Czechoslovakia and uh, Italy. Well, this was the great mass migration area, era at the turn of the century. All the Europeans were coming to America because there was no jobs. And this is my father when he was uh, in the Navy when I was young. <laughs> and this is, my, uh, this is my mother and her uh, Italian friend, They're all from the neighborhood. See, my father was Italian, so. But this is my mother. She's a beautiful Slavic woman. Yeah, I keep, these are treasures of mine. I, I keep them, it's all I have, my memories. In the United States, you just have elementary studies, you know, it's just like grade school, high school. I didn't finish high school, I joined the Navy. I became a sailor and I spent, uh, spent four years in the Navy. Uh, I was a radio man on an aircraft carrier, USS Midway out of Pacific Fleet. When I returned from the Navy, I got married and uh, uh, I was persuaded to go to seek an education. So I went to college and I was working for the post office at the time and I, I didn't do as good as I could have done. I managed to get through college after years and years and I took my degree in anthropology but it wasn't very scientifically oriented so I didn't very get proceed. I couldn't uh, really get a job in that field so I ended up driving a taxi in Chicago which I did for many years. My training as a, uh, in college always kept me interested in current affairs and I always had a concern for the environment. You need to start early in, in, in when they're younger with biology. They need to start uh, developing their, uh, their interests and to, uh, and to realize that the environment is very, uh, is very precious. And today it's, we're losing it more and more every day. So I was interested personally as what, what I was, where I came from, what I was about. So when I began, I studied years ago, I studied anthropology as the rise of man, how, what, where, what his territoriality was, what his tribal instincts was, what his social relationships were. I, uh, I proceeded with biology to, to become interested, uh, to pursue the uh, an investigative line on, on uh, evolution on a broad scale, which led me to, uh, to uh, Tomps because they have, were offering the, uh, the uh, ecology and biodiversity. Yeah, I was impressed with Dr. Gatti, who's the, uh, the administrator for the program. I took some courses from him online, his ecology courses and he's uh, a very good scientist. So I decided it would be, uh, it would be, uh, um, opportun be an opportunity to, to study under him. When I arrived in Tonks, I, uh, I took some walks and I got through the uh, forests and it reminded me of Czechoslovakia or Slovakia because the same river basin, same forest, same river community. And it was the case, in, believe it or not, in Chicago. We had the same type of forests and all. So maybe there's a relationship where people can live, you know? It's always continual. I think the whole world has a stereotype about Russia. Russia's been so exclusive and secretive, so everybody, well, Russia, you know? But to me, it's just, just regular people, friendly people, you know, working hard to make a living, struggling, with this hired environment to survive. This is about what we have always been. In America, I was in another land. Here was my heritage. Here is where my ancestors came from. There I was at a disadvantage. Here I feel like this is part of my roots. So I'm taking back what I learned there, the opportunities, experience, and bringing it back. Because when my people left, they took part of the spirit from the land left with them. So now I'm bringing it back.